Hello ladies and gents, Rex here with T3G and today we're going to be talking about some mobile basics and that's keeping your battery alive. Today I've got a Voltix 7200 uh, milliamp external charger, portable charger uh, with me today and uh, I use that because the HTC Desire 816 does not have the most impressive battery life in the world. Uh, it's actually pretty awful. You can go to uh, the review I did in the phone and you know go check that out so you can hear me complain some more about this, uh, this phone's battery life. So, an external charger is something that comes in very handy when you are in the last dying 15% and you need a charge because you're not going to be you know, anywhere near an actual charger with an outlet. So earlier this evening, those three guys went out for dinner. Specifically, we went out for sushi. And I just so happened to be on my last dying 5% uh, when I went to look at my phone. And uh, I figured on the way out, I would grab the uh, charger and the cable. So I grabbed the charger, we left, and essentially the moral of this story is external chargers save lives. I only paid $12 for this charger, and the amount of times it's actually saved my life, i.e. my battery life, is astonishing. It comes in super handy in plenty scenarios when you just can't get to a charger and you just need some juice. And for only $12, it gets the job done pretty well. Also, it's a flashlight. So unfortunately, this actual model right here uh, isn't available, or not that I know of, because I was just searching for it and I couldn't find it. Um, but you know, there are plenty of external chargers ranging from $10 to $50, from the size of an actual phone to the size of, you know, a lipstick or a pen. Uh, you know, external and portable chargers come in all different shapes and sizes, but unfortunately this one isn't available right now, so I guess you might have to hold off on the extra flashlight. Now granted, and generally, the size of the charger, you know, kind of dictates the, uh, the size of the battery, I suppose. Um, you know, this one is 7200 milliamps, so it's actually pretty, pretty thick, pretty hefty, pretty chunky. Um, you know, I'm putting this next to a pretty large phone with a 5.5 inch display, and you know, it's pretty big, it's pretty thick as well. Right there. So the size of the charger generally dictates the capacity of the charger. So if you're going to find something that's, you know, about the size of a lipstick, it's going to be probably 2200 milliamps, but if you're going to find something that's as thick, chunky, and large as this, it's going to be 7200 milliamps or more. For most phones, you should be able to get two charges out of it, if not two and a half. For other phones, you can only get, you know, maybe one and a half, and for tablets, one and a half as well. Regardless, it should be able to save your life for the night and give you enough juice you need to be able to use your smartphone. Those are the reasons I decided to pick up a portable charger. This has been Reddit with T3G. Go to T3GTech.com for more tech and reviews. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Reddit signing off.